हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अक्षय फ्रॉम सिंपल टेकी आर्टिस्ट एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉज द स्पीक्स मैका वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एक्सटिंक स्पीसीज इन द आर्थ एंड लेट्स स्प्रेड सम अवेयरनेस सम नॉलेज अबाउट दिस काइंड ऑफ मैकाउस आई विल टेल यू द स्टोरी लेट्स वॉच टिल द एंड यू विल लर्न सम न्यू टिप्स एंड सम न्यू मेथड टू ड्रॉ द आउटलाइन एंड टू स्टार्ट विथ एनी पेंटिंग first we will create an outline to uh, ensure that our uh, painting is fitting in our page size if you draw very small then you may need to cut your page if you draw very big then your whole object may not fit into your page size and if you uh, just shift it towards the bottom or towards the top or maybe it's in left or right then try to shift the outline towards your desired position and then redraw it again and it is the old one i have shifted here in the bottom so i make sure that it's in the correct position in my page to look prominent and at the middle then i will be uh, perfect the outline using the smaller and detailed parts like the beaks the feather the wings and then we will uh, draw the eye position the any posture of the object like uh, the first macaw is leaning towards the right the middle macaw is leaning towards the bottom and the uh left most macaw is leaning towards the left so we can actually observe this kind of position and posture to ensure that the outline is correct before starting any painting then with that perfect outline you can add on more details according to your observation and create a beautiful painting so i think all of you guys can start with this method and you can create a perfect outline to begin with so don't worry you may do something incorrect at the beginning but eventually you can correct with some more confidence friends this macaw is called spix macaw and also it is known as the little blue macaw because its feather its head and the lower body parts all are composed with blue and gray feathers so when we color it you you can see the beautiful blue and gray and off white colors uh, on its body So this bird is named after German naturalist Johann Baptist von Spix and he found this bird on the bank of a river in Rio Brazil but friend unfortunately this bird is now extinct in the wild that means in any of the forest of the world you cannot find this bird so it's now in captive breeding to undergo a process of restoration of this bird in the wild forest to growing the number of it and by growing the its natural habitat mostly in the south or latin america let's try to finish this painting i will uh, quickly do the color portion of this painting let's watch how we draw the feather and the wings and the head of this bird with blue gray white and black oil pastel so friends let's fast forward the coloring portion please keep watching
thanks for watching this friends hope you enjoy the video this is a great learning and hope you guys will practice it practice makes you perfect thanks for watching please subscribe and please do share and like and comment this video thank you so much bye bye